Hello, in this video we will talk about independent sample t-test, this is also a kind of uh, t-test analysis, one of the parametric tests we can do in statistical analysis. Uh, uh, independent sample t-test uh, can be regarded as the famous t-test among the t-tests, since uh, if you have two groups you can conduct independent sample t-test analysis to check whether there is a difference between these two groups so in experimental designs for example if you have control and experimental group uh, you can easily check uh, the results of the difference whether there is a difference or not between these two groups scores the scores of control and experimental group to do it to do uh, to conduct independent sample t-test I again created a fake data set through Excel by using grand between command I have 100 participants uh, in my data and I created a variable as gender bi biological gender and I assign one uh, for the half of the data for the 50 participants as a representation of male participants and two for female participants 50 of them uh, are labeled as two uh, which means female participants and I just have one continuous variable final exam now when you look at the variables <coughs> gender variable is your independent variable and final exam variable is your dependent variable before conducting statistical analysis and i just uh, let me say uh, at first i just transferred this data to the ibm spss and now this is my ibm spss, uh, SPSS data set I have variables, I uh, make the labels, one is male, two is female, uh, so my independent variable is gender and it's nominal, my dependent variable is final exam and it's a scale variable which means continuous variable as a kind of ratio or interval scale. scale. Now these are important since before conducting a independent sample t test uh, as I said, it's a kind of parametric tests. <coughs> so uh, we have assumptions that we should check before conduct uh, the proper statistical tests. And um, the first assumption is your independent variable should be categorical. This is and uh, this fits in our data sets. And the second assumption is your dependent variable should be continuous, should be a scale variable. And <coughs> uh, additional to these two assumptions, uh, you should check the normality of the uh, dependent variable. The, the, the data for dependent variable should be uh, distributed normally. And also, since you have two groups in your uh, independent variable, female and male, uh, participants uh, the data should have should be homogeneous between these two groups that means the variances should be close to each other should be similar this is the fourth assumptions and the last assumption is the same uh, as the others uh, you shouldn't have outliers and significant extreme values in your data sets you should check it uh, through uh, analyze descriptive and explore tab uh, explore tab uh, you try to find whether there is an outlier or not <coughs> so let's start to do our analysis if, uh, to do independent sample t-test analysis first you should go analysis at that many compare means and you will see independent sample t-test okay now in the right side you have uh, testing uh, you should define the testing variable in this case Final exam is our testing variable and grouping variables, group which means groups, have groups in the gender. Uh, you should define your groups, you should define the numerical labels that you assign, or uh, if you didn't assign, if you write, just write uh, the names as female and male. You can also write female, male, uh, and these empty cells. And also, if you have continuous variable and you, uh, you just cut 
your continuous uh, continuous variable in two parts and you can create groups by using cut point uh, in this pop-up window so i define my groups i have testing variables options are the same confidence interval exclude kids analysis by analysis so last thing click ok i clicked ok i will see two uh, tables the first one as always the descriptive table uh, you can see the number of participants on male and female <coughs> groups i have nine participants in male group uh, 51 participants in female group and the main values 40.6 53.1 uh, the standard divisions and to calculate standard error of the means this are the descriptive parts the important part to uh, check whether there's a difference between these two groups female and male groups on their final exam scores you should look at the second table now uh, you can divide the table in two parts the one test of tests for equality of variances this is the first part that you should uh, control uh, for the assumptions of uh, assumptions of uh, homogeneity you should look at the Levent test scores and this is the main results for t-test independent sample t-test statistics now um, let's talk about Levent tests for equality of variances which means homogeneity now Levent test scores automatically gives us whether the groups uh, variances are equal we can assume the equal variance uh, between groups or not now it is important at this point now we as you see on the pop-up window you have one significance variable related with Levin's test scores and uh, another column significant uh, column for the t-test statistics we should first look at this one uh, contrary to the other uh, cases other statistical analysis remember that we always try to find the significance value uh, which means below 0 0.05 if Levent test significance value is above not below above 0 0.05 since this is about uh, 0.91 which means above 0 0.05 if this value is above uh, the probability value we can say that we can assume equal variances between groups so if we can assume equal variances since this is above 0 0.05 we should follow the first line of the table okay but let's imagine that this value is not 0 0.91 about 0.91 this is just 0.03 which is below 0 0.5 just imagine this time we couldn't assume equal variances between your groups so you should follow the second line in the table and you should report the second line in your statistical report since in our case the Levante significance value is above 0 0.05 we can assume equal uh, variances between the groups that means there's uh, there's a homogeneity between your groups so we will follow the first line before and the first t in uh, the first t test statistics t value calculated degrees of freedom this time you have two groups so minus two uh, number of participants minus two uh, will give you the degrees of freedom uh, it's not important uh, SPSS automatically do it <coughs> and we should look at the significance value again the main differences as you see the standard error differences of in this interval but the important thing is the second significant value if this value is below 0 0.05 that means you have a significant statistically significant difference between your groups and this is below 0 0.05 so we can say that we have a statistically significant difference between male and female groups in favor of male participants so male participants final exam scores are statistically significantly 
higher than female groups participants we can report it in this way and also uh, as i said while reporting to findings uh, you can uh, you can calculate uh, effect size cohens d will be the effect size just write cohens d calculator uh, you can also effect size calculator for example so, uh, in the main menu uh, for example this is for independent sample t tests values standard deviations and number of participants in the group for group EK, right for group two sorry write the mean value standard deviation and number of participants in this groups so it will cal calculate the effect size for you it is easy to calculate and you can um, make comments on the strength of the effect that you found in the analysis so that's all we can say about independent sample t-test See you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.